Hey guys, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It is a Wednesday, the 4th of January. This is your play of the day. Before we get to the play of the day, if you guys would be so kind, take a minute, smash that thumb, give us the like. Always, we appreciate the effort. Of course, if you haven't subscribed, do take an opportunity to do that. Hit that subscribe button and uh, ring the bell. Get notified every time we put up brand new content. And we want to know what you're playing all right, put your best play in the comment section. Let me know the odds. Let me know what the payoff is. You can put parlays in there. You can put uh, sides, totals, whatever it is. All I ask is if it's not minus 110, let me know what it is. All right, especially if you're playing parlays. And uh, we had this uh, come up last night. I think this is going to be handy. If you're making a parlay, put the uh, odds that each bet pays, if you would, please. I know in the past I've told you not to do that, but uh, in case one of them washes out, It'll be easy to figure out what the uh, remaining teams pay. All right. And uh, yeah, you do it uh, for a day, make a profit. We'll give you the shout out. You get uh, the most profit for a day. You can be capper of the day right there. In fact, you will be capper of the day if you get the most. And you do it for seven days. You can do it. Uh, you beat everybody for uh, uh, seven days straight. $50 will be yours in a term, uh, in the form of a gift card. So uh, yeah, make, uh, make your first bet your best bet. All right. Uh, let's take a look and see how we did yesterday. I had some, uh, had a couple doubters out there about my uh, San Jose State pick, and after the first half, looked like the doubters were absolutely correct. But the uh, Trojans uh, did enough for the, to, uh, to uh, come back there in the second half and uh, didn't get the win, but they did get the cover against Boise State. We had a nice, uh, solid day on the premium side. We go four and two on the premium side, including hitting our best bet on the Tennessee uh, Volunteers. Uh, they blew that one open early and, uh, that was pretty much how the game went. So nice, easy rock and cheer win on the Vols. If you're looking to get my premium plays, I got them and I got a 50% discount for you. Uh, it is the code LP74 GST50. That will get you 50% off. Uh, you can use it on my best bet, which is normally $49.99. Use the, use the code 50 bucks is the, uh, excuse me, 25 bucks is the play. And uh, it comes with a guarantee. You don't win. You don't pay, all right? So we have been doing pretty well on the best bets lately. But, uh, you know, like I said, if we don't hit it, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a no, it's a no pay for you. And, of course, we are sponsored by a no-house advantage. Uh, it is fantasy sports redefined, all right? So what uh, – uh, I'm, I'm just thinking – I'm thinking of this copy, and I'm, I've been watching a lot of videos from the other cappers, and, and the copy is all the same. I'm just – you know, fantasy sports – it's fantasy sports redefined. No-house advantage. It's cool. Um, I've told you before, I'm in Missouri. I can't play it. We've got fucked up fantasy rules, but I've talked to guys that have signed up. My son has done it when he was in Chicago. He really enjoyed it. So, um, do check it out. Use the code WNW. That'll get you up to a $50 first time deposit bonus. It's cool. You can play against the house and you can, uh, use a multiplier. You can win up to 21 times your original bet, or you can play against other guys, uh, and gals that are playing in the league. For a chance to win cash prizes. All right, nohouseadvantage.com or download the No House Advantage app. Okay, Let's see what we got cooked up for today, guys. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to play a little uh, SEC and uh, we're going to play my alma mater here with the uh, University of Missouri, M I Z A Z O U to you. Uh, we're going to play Missouri plus eight over the Arkansas Razor Hogs. Uh, this Mizzou team, you know what? Uh, under Quanzo Martin, they were just, uh, just they, they, they were okay. Made a couple tournament, a couple tournament, a couple times. It's just boring to watch. They are a blast to watch right now. Uh, win, lose, or draw, and they've been good. They've only lost one game uh, this season, and that was to uh, <clears throat> KU. Uh, guard play is really, really good. Uh, they shoot very well, sixty-one and a half percent from the field. That is third in the nation. Uh, they make ten triples a game. That is fourteenth in the country. And uh, shoot uh, from beyond the arc about 37%. It's 58th. Um, but they uh, really, really are uh, unselfish. They uh, average almost 20 assists a game, 19.8 assists a game. That's fourth. And they are fantastic at getting turnovers. They get 12 and a half steals a game. And that basically comes down to the opponent is, is uh, turning the ball over 26.1% of the time. That is a phenomenal stat. So more than. More than one out of four times when the opposition comes down the court, uh, Mizzou ends up with the ball without a shot. So, uh, yeah, very good. Now, the bad news is they don't play great defense, all right, uh, especially against the three. Good news is Arkansas doesn't shoot from beyond the arc worth a damn. 
uh, shooting just 30% on the year, 327th in the country. Um, I like this. Uh, I like this Mizzou team a lot. They turn the ball, like I said, they turn over their opponent a lot, give some extra possessions, and they do a really nice job with it. Arkansas is home. They might get the win here. Mizzou's been really good lately. Um, they've uh, they just are coming off uh, two really nice victories over Illinois and by uh, over Kentucky. Um, and uh, fourteen and twenty-two points. Fourteen over Illinois. Twenty-two over Kentucky. Those uh, really just were never in that those games. Um, Kobe Brown has been fantastic. He's gone for 30, 30 plus in both of those games. So, um, yeah, I, I think this is going to be a good spot for Mizzou. Not just a homer. I am a homer, but I, uh, you know, I'm pretty, I try, try to play pretty down the middle when it comes to my teams. And I think this is a good spot and a good play for the Missouri Tigers. Uh, give me the Missouri Tigers plus eight into that one. You guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right. You guys know how I did. Uh, let's check and see how y'all did. And uh, as a couple of you suggested, and it was really the only way to go since they have announced the, they're not going to play the games this week. I was kind of holding out for a, you know, Wednesday game or something like that. Not going to happen as far as the uh, Bengals Bills go. So, um, I we, we just we just made them no plays. I mean, that's literally all you could do. Uh, where people had parlays with uh, legs that have already hit and uh, football. Obviously, we knocked it back um, as if it was just a push. So. That's what we're doing, and uh, yeah, anyway, this looks like, uh, you know, maybe hopefully uh, everything's going to end up okay as far as uh, the health goes. We'll see, um, but uh, yeah, always uh, prayers up for sure. Okay, um, as far as yesterday's action, uh, AJ's goes uh, 1-0 plus 100. He had uh, uh, Riceford uh, anytime goal score in the Man U uh, Bournemouth game, and that actually paid off at uh, plus 110. Oh, excuse me. So that's yes. Yeah, so plus one ten. Sorry, buddy. Uh the butcher, one and zero plus uh one hundred. He had the uh, Sabers and the Caps over six and a half goals. Bedstradamas, another fine day by your current leader. Uh, he goes one and zero plus five oh eight. Another three team parlays. He has uh, Boston College, Buffalo, and the Nashville Predators. Uh huh. But your capper of the day, and I don't. Dude, I don't know why your logo is it, why your name didn't show up, but I knew it was because I went, but I, I knew it was you because I went back and checked your parlay. So anyway, it's the time traveler. Everybody going one and zero, plus thirteen fifty three. He had a, uh, a four teamer with a Nashville Creighton, uh, Nashville puck line Creighton minus eight and a half, Pitt plus six and a half, and the under one fifty seven and a half in your Ohio game, and those all cashed. That's how you go one and zero plus thirteen fifty three. Hey, time traveler. Welcome back, because you, my friend, are the capper of the day. Well done to you, and well done to anybody else that uh, blood a little money out of the Tuesday card. As far as your standings go, uh, as we mentioned, Betster Domus is a uh, hit parlays on uh, Monday and Tuesday, so surprisingly, he's your leader. Uh, 1768, but uh, the time traveler sneaking up, 1253. Zwa Carter, um, a close third at 330. And uh, definitely have some other people that are in the plus numbers, including just a pawn at 260. And uh, let's see who else is there. Uh, just a pawn. Oh, just a pawn. And uh, Parlay Sniper 155. T trained at a buck. So yeah, we've got some. Uh, we've got some. You know, I tell you, I was slow to come around to the parlay angle, but I like the chance that uh, it, it's anybody's game at any time. You just got to hit a big one. You just got to hit a monster. And you can be right there. So, or you can just, you know, hit one every day. That 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 works <laughs> well uh, for Betster Thomas. That works okay too. Anyway, whatever the way you got to get there, just get there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. As always, good luck on all of your plays. I'll be back here tomorrow, man. We've uh, had a nice little run here. What are we? Six of our last eight on our free plays. See so if we can keep that going. Find that best play. Give us all that chance to head back to the window. You guys take care. We'll see you tomorrow.